Researchers at Boston University presenting their findings today after examining the brain of Aaron Hernandez. And they concluded Hernandez's brain was severely impacted by CTE. Iowa News supporter Steve Nielsen has more on their findings now from our control room. Steve. Well, Mike Shannon, a Boston University researcher, says Aaron, Herhand, er, Aaron Hernandez had, quote, the most severe damage for his age group to parts of the brain that play a key role in memory, impulse control, and also in behavior. Dr. Ann McKee of the CTE Center in Boston University presented her findings today following her examination of Hernandez's brain. McKee says she could not say that his behavior was a result of his severe case of chronic traumatic encephalopathy, but she says he did suffer substantial substantial damage to several important parts of the brain, including the frontal lobe. McKee went on to say that this was the first case in which she saw damage this severe in someone so young. The 27-year-old former star of the New England Patriots killed himself in April while serving a life sentence in prison for murder. His attorney is suing the NFL and also helmet maker Rydell, accusing them of failing to warn Hernandez about the dangers of football. Live in the control room, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.